In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how can we turn any 3D image into a 3D object without modeling it in Blender. So the first step is going to be to import our image logo as a plane inside Blender. So first I'd like to delete everything. We can press A, X and delete everything. And to import our logo as an image, we're going to be using a built-in add-on. So you can go here to edit, preferences, and inside the add-ons, we can search for images images as planes and I want you to check this box that we got right here so now we're going to have this option so if you press shift a and if you scroll down to image we can have this option here to import images as planes so just click on it and let me search for my logo here and if we do double click we can have it as a plane so right now if you press z switch a material preview you're going to see our logo appeared here. So the next step is going to be to use the displace modifier. So the displace modifier is going to be creating variations in the height of our plane. So it's going to be pushing down the black areas and raising up lighter areas or white areas. So this is going to be turning our flat plane into a 3D shape. So with our plane selected, I'd like to go to modifiers here and we can add a new modifier. So here we can search for displace. So click on the displace. So now we got it. So we are going to be creating a new texture, new texture, and for the strength, so here for the coordinates, I'd like to switch it from local to UV, and for the strength, I prefer to reduce it down to just 0.2. I also prefer to work on the solid, so we can press Z and switch back to solid. All right, so now let's work on this texture, so we can switch here to the texture properties, and we got our texture here. We have to pick the same logo. So here we have this browse image to be linked we can click on it and we can pick our logo so click on it so now it's picked all right so all you have to do right now is to give this plane more geometry so the reason why the display is not working is because the plane has only four vertices so we need to give it more vertices so that it's going to take the white surfaces and push them up the black is going to be pushed down so you can press a to select everything press ctrl e and let's click on subdivide and on the bottom here, we're going to have this pop-up. So click on it. And I want you to increase the number of cuts. You can just drag them like this to the right side. Increase it to 10. So right now, if you press tab, you're going to see something happening here. We have the shape of that Superman logo here. So what we need to do, we have to increase the number of subdivisions one more time. So on the edit mode, we can press Ctrl E. And let's subdivide one more time. You can increase that to, let's say, 5 or even 8. So I want you to be careful with this number because your computer might crash if you increase it too much. Okay, so it looks pretty much better. So we can add more subdivisions because here it's pixelated. So let me add Control E. You can subdivide three times. There we go. So now we have much more better displacement of our logo. So now I'd like to clean up the geometry of our mesh. So I'd like to delete all these parts that, are, that they are not used. So first we have to apply the Displace modifier. So you can click on this arrow right here and click on Apply. After that, I want you to press 1 to go to the side. And we can press Tab. And I want you to switch to the wireframe. So you can press Z, switch to the wireframe so that we can select everything. Also the back included, the back vertices. So right now we can press X and delete all those vertices. So now we are just left with our logo. So you can press Z, switch to the solid. Also here, if you zoom in, you're going to see that we have some residue. So to get rid of it, I'm going to press A to select everything. And we can try S, Z to scale on the Z axis. And we can press 0 to have it completely flat. So right now, if you press 1, you can just see this perfect line. So next we have to also delete what's inside. All this geometry is useless. We're not going to be needing it. We have to optimize our mesh. So to get rid of the inner, we have to select this edge, the outer edge of our logo. So right now we can just click el elsewhere to deselect everything. If we go here to select and if we click on select sharp edges, so we're not going to be able to select the edges here. So the way to fix this, we can extrude the geometry, we can select it by pressing A. We can press E to extrude. We can extrude it down like this. So right now, let's press Alt A to make sure that everything is deselected. So we can go to select and let's select sharp edges. So this way we're going to be selecting only the edges of our mesh. So in my case, I want going to be needing the bottom. So what we can do, we can press 1 
to go to the side like this and you can press Z, switch wireframe, press B to use this box select. You can press shift, let's start from here. So shift and left mouse and you can drag it like this. So this way we're gonna be in selecting the bottom. So after that, let's switch to the move tool. You can press shift D to duplicate. And this way we're gonna just get only the edge line of our logo. So I'm gonna press P to separate selection. And for this one here, so this one I'm gonna just hide it. So let's select it. I'm gonna press H to hide it. And let's work on this one here. So first we have to smooth out these edges. So we have, they are twisted. We have to smooth them out. So to smooth them out, we can use a new modifier. It's called the smooth. So let's search for it here. So smooth, this one right here. So let's click on it. You can press seven to go to the top. Let's for example, pick this area. So I'm gonna just increase this repeat valued something up something like 10 okay we're gonna improve it even better and for the factor let's try 0.6 let's try to increase that up but be careful with this so 0.75 i think it's gonna be fine all right so next i'd like to apply this smooth modifier and i would like to unsubdivide this mesh because right now if we switch to edit mode so we have dense geometry here so we won't gonna need all these vertices so I'm going to be selecting everything, go to edge, and you can click on and subdivide. So right now, as you can see, we're having fewer of these vertices. We can increase that number up, three. I think three is going to be fine. Let's try four. So four, we're going to start losing the detail. So let's just stick to three. And for the edges here, we need to keep them sharp. So for example, here, we can select all these parts and we can press M and merge at the center. So this way, we're going to be putting or merging all those vertices into one single vertex. All right, so the last step is gonna be to create our logo. So what I'd like to do, I'm gonna be selecting the base. So let's press L to select the base. We can drag it down like this and we can press F to fill it. So this is the way to fill it. So I'm gonna press Control I to reverse the selection. This I here as inverse. And I'd like to do, I'd like to press E to extrude it down. You can press Z to fix the extrusion on the Z axis. After that, I would like to press L to select all these units and we can press P to separate selection. So for this one, we can select it. We can do right click and shade auto smooth. All right, so now we're gonna be using the Boolean to cut through our base. This is the logo base. So I'm gonna be adding a new modifier. Let's search for Boolean. And for the object, I'm gonna just pick this object that we got on the top. All right, so the other object, the base disappears. We can switch this type from exact to fast and now it's back so all you have to do is to just apply it so let's click on this and we can apply the boolean and for this top object we can just press h to hide it and basically we got it we got our final logo so we can add here let's add the solidify modifier solidify modifier to give it some depth so we can increase this thickness value that we got here let's increase it up and basically we got it so we got our logo